Alright guys, so I'm going to be unboxing this new, uh, well, it's a Tetra 3 gallon bubble LED um, fish tank. And uh, I'm going to be putting a, it's 3 gallons, I will be putting a uh, beta in there. And uh, um, it also comes with these cool LED lights, half moon tank, and you get a, you get a cool filter inside if you can want to see that. And it also comes with a um, LED auto changing light. So I'm actually kind of uh, eager to use this. So it even comes in, these are the contents. You got your half moon tank, you got your clear. Uh, this is a really good deal. I got this for like 30 bucks. So um, air pump and airline, all that stuff. All right, so let's open this up. So, it actually is bigger than it looks. The box is actually not that big, but the tank itself. Here it is. So here's the lid, right there. Here's the base. So here's a good look at the, how big the tank is. Right there, let me move the camera around. As you can see. It is a nice half moon size. You can put a lot of stuff in there. You put some gravel and stuff like that. So it actually is um, plastic. Um, it's not glass or anything, so don't expect glass for that price. Uh, but here are all the other cool stuff that are in here. All right, so first of all, comes with a the LED light kit. Here you go. Uh, yeah. What is this? And then it comes with the tubing, so you can make the bubbles. And then it has the filter. It's like a really tiny filter. That'll go right in there. Put that in there. And. An AC adapter, so it's not too bad. Here's the LEDs with the AC adapter. So you're gonna need two outlets to, if you really want the full functionality of the lights and stuff. I really don't care too much about the lights, to tell you the truth. I just care about more the um, uh, the filter and stuff. So and there it is. Yeah, and, this, and the filter right in here. So all right, guys, I'm gonna set this up and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the aquarium almost set up. I really don't like this um, this uh, LED light. It's nice, it gives it a nice little feel, but it's not really needed and it doesn't really stay down on the bottom. As you can see, it's already turning up. You need to put it like really deep underneath some rocks, but you know when you change water and stuff, I think it's just gonna be more of a hassle, so I'm actually gonna remove it. So, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a good look at it. Okay, so. so the tank is all set up, as you can see. Here's the filters, I got the gravel in there, I got my heater all set up. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, guys, post them below. Subscribe to the channel.